It's John with Cruise Fever here, and we're going to do a video tour and review of MSC Bellissima. My brother Ben was able to go to the christening on this ship, and about a week later, I went on a three-day cruise from Barcelona to Genoa, Italy. MSC Bellissima is a 171,000-ton ship. It is in the Meraviglia class with MSC. It holds about 4,500 guests and about 1,500 crew. These clips will give you just a little sneak peek of the ship before we dive into them in greater detail. We're going to start off on the pool deck as we usually do and work our way throughout the rest of the ship. This is the main pool uh, called the Atmosphere Pool. You can see the nice comfortable lounge beds all around it and plenty of loungers on uh, either side. There's also a smoking area on the port side of Atmosphere Pool. And the large LED screen. Uh, during my cruise, I didn't see any movies playing on it. Maybe they will in the future. And here's some of the seating along the sides of the main pool. And a lot of great lighting at night. So you have two eating and drinking stations just aft of the main pool. Atmosphere bar and atmosphere ice cream bar. There's also food served here throughout the day. Now moving forward, we're looking down onto deck 15. This is Grand Canyon Pool. You can see they really went with the theme, kind of a desert theme there. An oasis in the middle of it. You have four total whirlpools in this area. There's two down on deck 15 and two up on deck 16, one that you see there. Really nice solarium, nice and humid. It was busy during this cruise because it was a little bit cold for the main pool. There are two foosball tables and one ping pong table in this solarium. And here's some of the comfortable seating and the decor on either side of the Grand Canyon pool. These next few clips will be for those in the MSC Yacht Club. This is MSC's ship within a ship, luxury, all-inclusive experience. This is Top Sail Lounge that you're looking at right here. And this is the MSC Yacht Club restaurant, again, only for those that are in the Yacht Club. It's got some great views forward of the ship. And this is the exclusive Yacht Club pool, and there's a grill and bar up here as well. And if seeing these clips makes you a little too envious of those that are in the Yacht Club, you can feel free to fast forward a little bit if you'd like. Wanted to give you a little glimpse of one of the Yacht Club cabins as well. This is one of them here. At the end of the video, I'll have a cabin tour, both of a balcony and of an interior stateroom. Uh, moving midship on deck 19 is top 19 exclusive solarium for those that have the spa and wellness program. Arizona Aqua Park is a really cool uh, water park that they have there in Bellissima on deck 19 aft. As you can see, they went with the desert theme again and the colors and the motif. So kind of neat combining that with the water park. There's the Himalayan Bridge, the ropes course that uh, lets you navigate around the water park and also see some great views all around the ship. There are plenty of ways to cool off on a hot summer day in this water park, including three twisting water slides go down to those lower decks. And Arizona Bar is right off the side of one of those water slides, so it's conveniently located. You don't have to go down to the buffet area to get uh, something refreshing to drink. So I'm just going to walk through to show you some of the different things they have for the kids as well at Arizona Aqua Park. We're moving down to deck number 18. Attic Club is the team lounge. And we're going to take a look at some of the other youth areas on the ship as well. MSC has partnered with Lego, so if you love Legos, your kids love Legos, uh, they're going to love some of the experiences there on MSC Bellissima. Uh, 
I really enjoy the Sportplex on MSC Bellissima. You see the gymnasium there. The basketball hoops were a little bit lower than regulation height, but there are soccer goals there as well. And it's nice that it's indoors, so weather is never a factor. There's a sports bar right next to that. And there's a lot of interactive, engaging experiences there in the Sportplex. You have these uh, Formula One simulating racing cars. There's a full length uh, bowling alley. You got two lanes there. You can go bowling, rent it out for half an hour or one hour. And right next to that, you have uh, some air hockey and some basketball hoops, and I'll show you the arcade uh, later on as well. And this is all kind of in the same area. You have the VR experience. There's a clip of uh, what you can experience there on the screen and where you stand during that. And there's also a 4D interactive cinema that you can enjoy as well. So a lot of things to do there. And right down the hall from that is this arcade. Not very big, but there's a lot of other things to do in the Sportplex to keep the kids busy or the adults as well. MSC's gym, powered by Techno Gym, is on deck 16. We're moving forward now. Unlike some other ships where the gym is right near the spa, this is totally separate from it. It's just above the pool, so you have some views of the pool if you're on those treadmills or bikes. So I want to show you some of the equipment you can find here in the gym. Had some really nice equipment in this gym. Of course, it is a brand new ship, so there's a lot of new things about it. Um, see some free weights there. And there is a jogging track that is just outside of this area. So it's nice you can continue your workout, whether it's on a treadmill or on the walking or jogging track. And here it is. And it goes all the way back to the horizon pool, which we'll look at a little bit later on. One thing to be mindful of is some areas like this, it kind of comes down to one lane and you have to navigate around these barriers. So just be cautious of that if you are using it for running. I think they do call it a walking track, however. Horizon Pool is the aft pool on MSC Bellissima. You see there it's four and a half feet. Uh, nice area just to relax and unwind. It is also called an amphitheater. Great place to watch Sail Away. They do have some of those uh, lounge beds down by that pool. And there is a whirlpool uh, just up a little bit on either side of Horizon Pool. Moving down one deck to deck 15 is Marketplace Buffet. And I'm glad that MSC is not afraid to call it a buffet. Uh, here is the hand washing station, a really nice entrance. And I'm going to show you some of the selections there. They had a lot of uh, selections for drinks and teas and juices that were all included for free. And you see the bar there as part of the buffet. The pizza was excellent. Some of the best pizza I've had on a cruise ship uh, has been on an MSC ship. So this was no different. You see the mozzarella station there. We can see how they make the mozzarella. And just want to show you a few of the different kinds of foods that they had at this particular lunch hour. You can see some of the nice comfortable seating and the great views uh, out from the buffet. This is as we leave Marseille, I believe it was. And my favorite area of the buffet for sitting down enjoying a nice meal was in the aft section here. You have a lot of seats and it was never that busy on the cruise I was on. And you have these great views over the back of the ship. Uh, decks 8 through 14 are all cabin decks. So we're going to skip all the way down to deck number 7, but I wanted to show you the elevators and the stairs on the way there, just to give you an idea of what they look like. And along the way in the stairwells, you'll find these little kiosks where you can book uh, an excursion or book uh, one of the shows for that night. We'll check out the theater in just a little bit as well. This is down on deck number seven, the embarkation deck. And we are gonna look at the spa, which is deck seven forward. This is the front desk of the spa, what you'll see when you walk in. And right off to the left side of that is the barbershop and salon. And now we're going to look at a few of the massage rooms that were open while I was on the ship. There is a really great thermal suite on this ship. It's actually called the Thermal Area on MSC Bellissima. 
and I actually bought a day pass so I could get this footage because they wouldn't let me in otherwise. So I uh, want to look at some of the different rooms, some of the relaxation rooms. That was the Himalayan sea salt room. What I like is there's a duplicity of rooms. Like this is the finished sauna and there's two of them. This is the steam room and there's two of those. Um, there's two uh, harmonic relaxation rooms, I think they're called, and there's two of those as well. There's a nice whirlpool in the middle of it. it has that quarry kind of feel with the stone all around it. This is the ice fall room where it was about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe somewhere in there. Nice place to cool off. There's also these showers, rain showers, where the temperature was a little bit lower as well, so you could cool off from the sauna and then go right back, back and forth. Now this shower I really liked. There's four different shower heads and they stay on for about 10 or 15 seconds each and the water gets warmer or cooler depending on which direction you want to go. So it's a great way to warm up or cool off. There's a Mediterranean bath. There's also two of these, one on each side. And the Tepidarium to me is worth the price of the day pass or if you have a spa room it's included of course but this is a great little area to relax. There's a few loungers and you have a great pool there. And I'll show you with the bubbles on, um, just nice relaxing experience throughout this entire thermal area. And now we have Galleria Bellissima, where we have the largest LED dome at sea. This thing is amazing. It really transforms the entire space. And throughout the day, they have different shows that are on the schedule. So you can be there and everybody stops what they're doing and looks up at this amazing light show mixed with sound and it's just a really neat experience. I think just about everyone had out their cell phones and they're videoing the screen. This is just kind of a time lapse of it and this kind of shows you how long this LED dome actually is in Galleria Bellissima. At night this space really comes to life. You can see kind of a, a buzz of activity going on down on deck number six. But we're gonna stay up on deck number seven and just take a look at a few of the things around. This is the champagne bar. And there's also kaito teppanyaki and sushi. There's a sushi area. Overlooks the entire Galleria Bellissima. Extra charges do apply to the specialty restaurants I'm going to show you, but they also have some really reasonable packages where you can get two or three restaurants in within a cruise and pay a, a lower price. So this is Masters of the Sea. It's kind of the pub on board and there's some seating out that uh, outside that look over Galleria Bellissima as well. TV studio and bar is another uh, bar on the ship that has some live music that takes place typically at nighttime. They also have some interviews that go on in here and other things so check your daily program for that. Butcher's Cut is the American style steakhouse on Bellissima. I wish I had time to stop here and get a steak because I really appreciate a well cooked sirloin, but maybe next time. And we are moving aft on deck number seven to walk through Imperial Casino. You have to walk through this area if you're on deck number seven to get to Carousel, which is where Cirque du Soleil at Sea takes place. So if you want to leave a little donation on the way there, help out MSC, I'm sure they would appreciate it. Carousel is where Cirque du Soleil at Sea takes place, but it was sold out and I could not even get in to take pictures when the show was not going on. They wouldn't let me in. I couldn't even get one single snapshot. They stopped me and so I'm sorry I don't have any footage of that, but if you've seen it, you love it, please leave a comment, let everybody know how it was. We're now on deck number six aft, looking at some of the main dining rooms. This is the Lighthouse Restaurant. The menus change every day and the cost is included in the cost of your cruise. Lighthouse is in the very back, so it has some great views uh, in that part of the ship. Il Silegio, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's another one of the main dining rooms. It's kind of divided uh, through the middle there. Uh, port and starboard sides, but really nice, beautiful decor in this restaurant as well. So now we're on the lower part of Galleria Bellissima and we're going to show you some of the shops and boutiques along the way.
I had a chance to eat at this specialty restaurant, Ola Tapas Bar. It is a Mediterranean cuisine restaurant where you can share plates if you'd like. It's got a really cool decor. And you can see some of the different entrees that they have here. And you can choose from some of the tapas and pinchos. And I'll show you a page of the menu. For 26 euro, you choose five different pinchos, a croqueta and a hamburger and a dessert. And uh, I love the food. The decor was awesome. So I highly recommend checking that out. If you love crepes and gelato, and who doesn't, you've got to check this out. Uh, I got the Banana Foster, I think it was. Um, excellent crepe, and there's also plenty of gelato there. And right across the gallery from there is the Jean Philippe Chocolate and Cafe. This ship has its own chocolatier, so you can't beat that. There's all kinds of chocolate. You can see it being made here behind the glass. You can even buy a chocolate MSC Bellissima if you'd like. You can use these tablets to order some delicious treats or just go up to the counter. And they also serve some amazing coffee. Had a couple cappuccinos uh, a time or two at this counter. This little piece of artwork is right outside of the chocolate cafe. Another specialty restaurant is L'Atelier Bistro for some French cuisine and everything from cheese to escargot. They even have uh, ribeye steaks. You can stop in for a nice French dessert if you'd like. So here are listed some of the specialty dining packages. You might want to pause the video so you can kind of look at each one and see how you can save money by eating at more than one specialty dining restaurant. Might be a good option for you. Bellissima Bar and Lounge is where some of the game shows take place. At night, it really comes alive with dancing and live music and things. And this is again on the lower level of Galleria Bellissima. Here's another shot of the LED dome and some of the shops and things around this plaza. This really is the heart of the ship and they did a great job in its design, I feel. All right, we're gonna check out London Theater. This is where the shows take place. There were two on my three-day cruise. One was called Eden, and we're gonna see just a few clips of that. It is a relatively small theater, so there are three different times where you can see the shows. These shows are anywhere from 30 to 35 minutes long. So you can go to the early show, the mid show, or the late show, and you can sign up ahead of time if you'd like. Uh, most of the time there were there was a room in each one, but on your cruise it might be different. Posidonia is another one of the main dining rooms. It is down on deck number five. And we can't forget about the atrium on MSC Bellissima. Such a beautiful space. Of course, we have the Swarovski crystals in the stairs. This seemed to be a very popular photo op, uh, both for the MSC photographers and people just with their cell phones trying to get a picture for their family and there always seemed to be some live music playing in the middle of the atrium there on deck number five in this case we have a nice classical piece being played around dinner time or after one of the shows gets out this is kind of how crowded it can be not too bad uh, but you might want to get there early if you want to get a good spot to hear some of the live music so down on deck number five we have msc excursions where you can plan your excursion or talk to someone about any questions you have and we have guest relations down there as well there is a business center if you do need to have a conference of some kind or a meeting with some people. There's a nice space down there also on deck five. So now we're going to do a couple different cabin tours. This one is going to be of a balcony cabin. And after that, you'll be able to see uh, the cabin that I had, which was an interior stateroom. I do want to mention Zoe, that little device on the table there. It is a virtual personal cruise assistant that speaks seven different languages. You just say, okay, Zoe, and you can ask what the weather is. You can ask what excursions are available, uh, what specialty restaurants are available. And sometimes it'll even turn on the TV for you so that you can sort through the different things that you want to find about the cruise ship. Um, it also can be used as a Bluetooth speaker, so you can connect your phone to it and play music. So I didn't use it a lot on my cruise because some of the things that it can do are fairly simplistic and I think they're going to be adding more features eventually down the road. So I love the idea of, of having something like that in the stateroom. The device may remind you of things like Amazon's Alexa and Google Home where you can ask it all kinds of questions, uh, but it's really not used for that except for things about the cruise ship. So you can ask a random question 
about some kind of trivia and, and it's not going to know what you're talking about. So just be mindful of that. And this was my interior stateroom on deck number 13. You'll notice there is a deck 13 on this ship, but there is not a deck number 17. As in Italy, number 17 is considered bad luck, as number 13 is considered bad luck for many in the U.S. I want to check out the bathroom here. I like that it has a glass door instead of the curtain that you have to close and always sticks to you and everything, so it's nice to have that. There is a clothesline in there, and you have your soap and shampoo along the wall. There is a magnifying mirror. I don't think I show it, but there's a magnifying mirror in here as well along the wall that you can pull out. That's really nice. And I love this, uh, your do not disturb and make up room buttons. Instead of leaving something hanging on the door, you just hit that button before you leave. If you want the room to be cleaned or if you don't want to be disturbed when you go to sleep, just hit the DND, do not disturb button, and uh, you're all set. Plenty of closet space, and uh, there's your safe. You have a couple different outlets, uh, American, and then you have the 220 on the opposite side, and I believe there's a USB connection there as well. I don't show it in this video, but on either side of the bed, there's also a USB connection, which is nice because sometimes people plug in their phones right next to them as they sleep. So right underneath that light, there's a USB connection on either side. And those lamps are just touch sensitive. There's two different lights, a reading light and then the light that you see that's on. And you could use either one of those. And here is MSC Bellissima in Port in Barcelona, Spain. I'm going to be doing a video on Barcelona, Spain, by the way. Some of the best things to do. I had a chance to spend a couple days there and just fell in love with the city. Here's the ship leaving Barcelona. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions or comments, snide remarks, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to follow us, you can do so on YouTube or Facebook, Twitter, all those other channels, Instagram, and uh, keep in touch with what's going on with Cruise Fever and cruising around the world. And if you have Cruise Fever yourself, I highly recommend you subscribe because it's clinically proven to help.